All right, let's talk some Detroit Lions football. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. And let's get to it. Appreciate the love, support. And, um, yeah, Deshaun Hand is going to IR. I'm going to talk a little bit more Spanish talking him. And high ties active for tomorrow versus Tennessee. Now, when I think about it, I just think the Lions make a lot of financial decisions more than football business decisions. All right? It just seemed like whoever the owner is, is like, you know, maybe Martha, Sheila, Mr. Ford, racist ass. And it's just like, well, they better get out there and play. It don't matter, it don't matter what it means. If we knock ourselves out of number one pick, or if we knock ourselves out of the championship, you know, whatever. Or we risk it. It just seemed like they just like, I'm paying you, you're going out there and play. It ain't like, oh, get yourself together, come back 100% healthy next season, we're going to make a run. It's a, it's a stupid franchise, man. And if we bring high top back, he ain't been healthy all season. Let them let him rest. I get he getting all this money in this. Not saying he a good or bad player. We can't evaluate him because he ain't been healthy. But if he can come in and be a, a, a decent, a good guard, think about your interior. Jonah Jackson, if he stay healthy, going to be an exceptional guard. Frank Ragnall is an exceptional center. And how I can just be good. They got it. They got a good interior line, and that's something that a GM would love to see. In my opinion, you got the best center in the game, Brad. Now, it looked like you might have one of the best young guards in the game, Jackson. You got a serviceable left tackle. To me, it makes no sense, but I get it because you're gonna throw Stafford out there. Well, Big V, you get out there and play. You protect them. Franchises just don't think about football. They think about business and commas. You can't have a successful franchise when you're thinking business and comma more than football. More than football. You know, you know, more than football altitude or IQ. That's just a fact. High top Stafford, all them dudes would be shut down. DeAndre Swift would be shut down. But then again, I get it. You got a guy that's hoping to break through and get an NFL head coach and extension and, and Daryl Bevel. There's just too much going on, man, with the Lions. That just don't make no sense. Too much going on. But what I like about the Lions. I'm going to be positive here. What I like about the Lions is they are actually interviewing GMs first. So they're going to be like, GM, all right, this is what we expect, what you expect, what you need from us. All right, we're going to let you pick our your head coach. Perfect sense. But with Deshaun Hand, let's move on with him. It's over with. Now, I don't want to write him off, but he was injury prone in college. I think he came in as like the number one defensive or football player in the country in Alabama. And you want to have him, you want him to stick around and see with another with another regime what will he do? Because this year, I mean, he made one play. I forget who it was, but it was on a on a where they back against the end zone. But to be honest, with him, he ain't really flashed. You know, but one time this season that I remember, and I would damn near watch damn near every line snap. If I didn't watch it, I was listening to it on the radio. So what you ask yourself is, okay, I'll give him another shot. But really, you can't count on him to be the Indomitian Kinsu, the Warren Sapp, the John Randall, the Reggie White, or the, def or the defensive line. You can't ask him to do that. What he can be, at this point, is a good rotational player. He reminds me of Nick Fairley, but just with a larger rookie sample size. Fairley used to come in and flash every now and again. Remember that New Orleans Saints game and Indomitian Kinsu got suspended for, I think, was stepping on that Green Bay Packer guy arm? I remember that guy. I was at that game, working the Lions game. And he, Deshaun Hand, probably I give him another chance just because with a new regime, they gonna stunt, they are gonna bring pressure, they are gonna bring more of a complex game. So maybe he stick out that way. But to be honest, at best he could be the captain in the second unit. You know what I'm saying? And really, the Lions' priority going to next season is best player available. But if you ask me to say, if you would need a, a need guy, which drafting for need gets you in trouble. Drafting for need. Made the Detroit Portland Trailblazers take Clyde Drexler over Michael Jordan. But when you're looking at best talent available, other than that, you're looking at need, you're looking at defensive line front seven. You can find some really good linebackers late in the draft or late in the first round, second, third round. You can find a lot of good linebackers. They, the Giants got this white boy that's playing for tremendous. You just got to identify what you want out your linebacker. 
What do they do? What do you want out they out your scheme? And what and can they do that well? And that's how you draft them. You find good linemen late in the draft. If I got a guy that's an, that I think I can develop into an exceptional tackle, left or right, and I got a guy and I need I got a need for corner. But the tackle is here in the corner, and the corner is here. I'm taking a fucking tackle. <laughs> and that's what got Lions in trouble before. Drafted for need. You know, when Matt Miller was drafting risky, it was drafting risky players. Knowing Charles Rogers wasn't gonna be wasn't gonna fit fit what they wanted. I you know, but with the shine hand, you wanted to give him one more chance, but he ain't gonna be the suit. There was a reason he dropped to what the fourth or third or fifth round, whatever it was. But what you do got when you're talking about this franchise, what's good about it? You got a good old line. You got exceptional talent as well. Right now you got Galladay. But defensively are Rory, Jeff Okuda, Tracy Walker, and Romeo Cora. And then since the young guys you got coming back, Julian, eventually Stenberger going to get stronger and be ready to play. So that's what I'm looking at. You got a lot of young talent. A lot of people say, we need D-line. Remember, you got Julian coming back next year. You know, you got him coming back. Tavai coming back. Damn, she got her. She in there. I can't stand Detroit drivers, man. Detroiters, y'all can't drive. I had a much better time driving to Alabama, I promise you. Atlanta, wherever I stayed at. But other than that, I mean, it, it's just, it, other than that, it's a nice job. You got a good punter. You got a good kicker that you got to keep this year. You got to keep Romeo. You got to probably keep Galladay. But what you like about this job, you got a lot of guys that you can, you know, Trey, you know, the salary cap is nothing. You got to draft well to get the guys you want here. Eventually, you can run out Trey Flowers' contract, Jamie Collins' contract, Justin Coleman' contract, you know, and then you really can draft guys that can play behind them, learn to win, learn how to be a pro, and then eventually, it ain't a bad job. What makes this a bad job is the owner's reluctance over the last 5,000 years since they got the Lions. Their reluctance to, to want to win. To put the financial back in the win, to put the IQ to win. This is the dumbest family in sports history. Even almost as dumb as James Dunn. I think they dumber than him. Just dumb. This I'm gonna give you this real quick. Fog it off. When they fired Matt Millman, they promoted Lawan and Mayhew, the general manager who was helping them make them pitch. They did not clean the house and burn the house down. They promoted. 0 and 16. That's just how stupid this family is, man. Besides you. But don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out with business question, quiet response, or video quests. All my social media links in the description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. All the links there. You want to make a donation to the channel? Cash app CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time we go.